Today we're going to be taking a look at some commercials from some of my favorite 80s and 90s toys. Now some of these are toys that I had and loved, and some of these are toys that I always wanted but I couldn't quite get my hands on. Now I think most of these have somewhat iconic commercials, and most of you are probably going to remember them, but at least a few of these are a little bit more obscure and you might not remember them at all. Now I thought what better way to get things started than with one of the biggest toys of the 1980s, and of course I'm talking about Masters of the Universe and He-Man. But rather than do just kind of a generic He-Man commercial, I thought I would pick two of my favorite He-Man toys. From the Masters of the Universe, Hordak reveals the most gruesome trap ever. Welcome to the Slime Pit. The what? The Slime Pit. Now, Spike, or you're my slave, not the slime. Yes, my slime will overpower you. I've been slime. No one escapes the evil horde slime pit. The evil horde slime pit. New from the Masters of the Universe. You put it together. Take your soul separately. So I got the slime pit on Christmas morning and it was one of those toys that I had to instantly just rip open. And I think the best part of it was the slime. There was something so great about 80s and 90s slime that they just haven't been able to recapture with the new slime that they have nowadays. There was this certain smell and texture that I, I can still remember it to this day. I remember how awesome it was putting my He-Man in there and having the claw come up and lock him in place while I dumped the slime on his head. Such an awesome toy. Da, 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 da. Oh, master power. Da, 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 da. Some guys got it, some guys don't. Skeletor's got this creep spy door. It's awful. Yeah, it is. Gary. When spy doors like scrawl in the sight, you better step aside because he also bites. Maybe he'll get you. Maybe he won't. He's got master power. Da, 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 da. Some guys got it, some guys don't. Got it? Spy doors new from the masters of the youth is assembly to do. You need batteries too. Other action figures sold separately. From Mattel. Got it? That's a really odd commercial for Masters of the Universe. Um, really 80s, you know, almost new wave with the lasers and you got, you know, the kid wearing the blazer and almost kind of a rap thing going on there. Um, my favorite two parts is when he says, it's awful. It's awful. And then of course, when he does the, the little spider dance, I guess is what that is. Now, I believe I got Spider on that same Christmas morning when I got the slime pit. Uh, this isn't the same one that I had as a kid. I picked this one up at Frank and Son's collectible show. I got Beastman chilling in there. Um, it still works. Just as cool as it was when I was a kid. The thing about the commercial for those A-Team action figures, this is something that was seen in a lot of commercials for 80s toys. They would make it look like these kids lived in a backyard that looked pretty much like a set. There was, you know, it was like a desert and there was rocks and waterfalls and little mini lakes. And then you would get the toy home and you'd be playing with it and be like, oh man, why does this not look quite as cool as it did in the commercial? But yeah, I had all four of those A-Team action figures. I was a pretty big A-Team fan as a kid. Uh, like I said, I had the figures. I had a Mr. T poster up on my wall. I remember going to see the A-Team stunt show at Universal Studios. So yeah, I definitely loved those A-Team action figures and hopefully one day soon I'll be able to put another set together. From days of long ago comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. Five fearless lion robots. Black lion. Green lion. Yellow lion. Red lion. Blue Lion. Go, Force Force! Who together form Voltron. Lion sets each sold separately from Matchbox. So Voltron was probably one of my favorite toys of all times. I had the Matchbox diecast version before they switched over to plastic. 
Now I had that toy for probably close to 20 years for one reason or another. I don't have it anymore. I've been trying to put one together again, but they're pretty expensive. So far, I've got the yellow lion and the blue lion, which are probably the two easiest ones to find. The two hardest ones to find are the green lion and the red lion, and that's because they're always missing the head. Now, I was able to find this one on eBay at a relatively cheap price. It still has the head and the head still fires. So now all I need to do is find the green line and the black line, and I'll be good to go. Earth's first line of defense has a breakthrough in space technology, Magnalock. It defies the law of gravity. Activate Starcom equipment. Control Starcom weapons. Pictures and vehicles each sold separately. Magnalock, a mighty power for Starcom. A deadly threat in the hands of the Shadow Force. Who will survive? Now, Starcom's one of the toys that I was talking about that I think might be a little bit more obscure. Um, I had that playset that we saw in the commercial, and it was so much fun. All the little figures had magnets on them so that they would stay in place on different platforms. There were working elevators, things that popped open and fired, and it, there was just so much going on with that toy. It was a really fun playset. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Convert Switchblade to jet mode. Surprise, Matt Tracker. It's Mayhem! Battle station. Protect your decoder, Bruce. I'm going up. Stacks, ready to fire. Mask, Switchblade, Thunderhawk, and Rhino. Fire! Each sold separately with action figure. Cover me, Matt. 10-4. Sato's getting away! But you're not, Mayhem. Mask, Switchblade, Thunderhawk, and Rhino. Each sold separately. New from Kenner. Mask was another awesome toy line. I mean, pretty much any time that you've got a toy with buttons that you push and things come flying open and guns pop out and things fly off, I mean, I think that's gonna be a winner with kids. Now, I only remember having a couple of mask vehicles. One of them we saw in that commercial, it was the big red truck, Rhino. The other one I had is in this commercial. Tracker here, assemble mask. When Venom strikes, there's only one team to call. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Vehicles each sold separately with a figure. You'll never catch the vampire. Wolf team. Firefly convert. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Mask, firecracker, vampire, and firefly each sold separately new from Kenner. And here's that vehicle, firecracker. Now this isn't the same one I had as a kid. I picked this up at a toy convention, but it's in really good condition and it still works. Mad balls, mad balls, gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball, they're gross, funny, yucky, sick. There's eight, so you can take your pick. We throw, catch, it's uh oh fun. There's so much gross in every one. Freaky fun is what they're for. There's so much ugly, so much more. Gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball. We play with a mad ball. We play with a mad ball. Mad ball. Freaky fun for everyone, sold separately from Amtoy. Mad ball. Man, I totally remember that commercial. Mad Balls were so awesome, and they're a really great example of how you can take such a simple idea and turn it into something so cool. I mean, what are Mad Balls when you think about it? It's just a foam ball with a monster face on it. I mean, how simple is that? I only remember having one Mad Ball. I had Slobulus. I've been trying to find an original one for a while, but what happened with Mad Balls is they're all starting to dry up and flake and peel. So finding an original Mad Ball in good condition is almost impossible. Now, this is a reproduction of Slobulus. Definitely not as cool as the original, but it gets the job done. Now, there were so many different Hot Wheels accessories, but there was one that I remember having that I really loved. I'll let them stay. They're really having fun. Who says car problems can't be fun? Mattel introduces the new portable Hot Wheels service center for your children. Looks like he needs a new set of tires. A new set of tires? The more problems they find, the more fun they'll have. And while you're here, better check the transmission. And when they're all through playing, it folds right up to carry away. Mattel's new Hot Wheels service center. Who says car problems can't be fun? Now, over the years, they would change the design of the service station from time to time. The one that I had is the one that we saw in the commercial. Now, some years back, I was able to find that model that I had and get it as a gift for my son. And it was just so cool to give that to him and be able to sit down and play with him and relive those memories. Watch out, America. You never know where Zappet will pop up next. 
Bobby! Damn it! <laughs> the color disappears, but the fun never ends. Dad! Hey, Bobby! Ah! Zap it! Complete with guns and disappearing liquid. Additional refills in red or blue sold separately. Zap it! The color disappears, but the fun never ends. So Zap it was basically a water gun that came with invisible ink. Now, I had one and I really liked it, but there was a couple of things about Zap it. First of all, none of my friends had one, so I had nobody to play with. Second of all, once you ran out of the solution, that was pretty much it. I mean, they sold refills that you could go and buy, but that could get kind of expensive. I know I never purchased a refill. I think pretty much once the solution ran out, it just became a water gun. speed of light from worlds of wonder stadium not included laser tag was so awesome now there was photon kids and there was laser tag kids now i had a laser tag but just like zap it none of my friends had a laser tag i think my grandma got it for me for my 10th birthday but since none of my friends had one i pretty much just had to take this sensor and set it up around my house and pretend like it was my friends oh well at least i had one there's something strange in the neighborhood so who are you gonna call Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Venkman, Steph, and Spangler are here. So are these ah, ghosts. They got ectoplasm. We've been goofed. Now what? Stay puffed, Marshmallow Man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate Neutrona Blaster. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Peter Venkman, ectoplasm, Stay puffed, Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. The real Ghostbusters was one of the coolest toy lines of the 1980s. Now I was lucky, I think it was for my ninth birthday, I had a Ghostbusters party, I had the Ghostbusters cake, I got all four of the original action figures, the State Puff Marshmallow Man, and the Ecto-1. Now, of course, like so many of my other toys, I no longer have them. A while back, I was able to find those four figures, the State Puff Marshmallow Man, and the Ecto-1, along with a few other figures, and get them for my son for his birthday. Now I keep waiting for him to outgrow them and give them to me, but he says it's not gonna happen. So I saved this one for last. I think this might be the biggest toy line of the 1980s, maybe of all time. G.I. Joe against Cobra the Enemy. Don't let Cobra Commander get away. G.I. Joe! It's Cobra Commander! He's stealing our missiles! Well, get him, rock and roll! Here comes Gansling! He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe! He's American hero! We saved the missiles, but you gotta get up early to catch Cobra. Cobra Commander and G.I. Joe figures and equipment each sold separately from Hasbro. Now, I talked earlier about toy commercials that would make it look like kids' backyards were basically a set with deserts and rocks and mountains and rivers. And G.I. Joe was probably the most guilty when it came to that. But there were so many awesome G.I. Joe toys to choose from. So many action figures, vehicles, the aircraft carrier. I know I had a few different figures. I wish I could remember which one, but more than that, I wish I still had them. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. That was a lot of fun. The odds are I'm going to make part two because there was quite a few toys that we just didn't have time to get to. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you go do that right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.